So bass is working through their step up progression today. You're gonna run right into it. Uh, no real warm up today. Uh, we're not maxed out. If we did, uh, it'd be just go over time. So we just cut that out. We're just doing this, and then uh, our final. We're at the top of our progression for our upper body movement as well. So, uh, and then we get some durability there at the end. So between those three things, that'll fill the hour. So these guys are just racing through. Uh, we progressed it uh, all the way up. So it's 10% uh, plus two here. Off of your, uh, or on top of your step up pace. So sprint through them. These guys are getting between uh, 20 and 15 seconds of rest. So we're doing the little four round durability circuit here today. We've got three tea cups here. So you're gonna hold your hand flat like you got a tea cup in it. We're just using little counters. You don't have to have anything in your hand. You could use a tennis ball or something like that if you wanted to. But we have little uh, clickers here that we use to like count step ups and everything. We're using those. You'll do three each arm. So after tea cups, we've got shoulder scarecrows, five of them. Unloaded. Just gonna move your hands up and then point your thumbs forward. Hug yourself just like that. So we're, move, we're just moving our shoulder blades through their full range of motion here. So they're together. We're moving the bottoms up as we as you go up and then as you spread across, there you're spreading your shoulder blades all the way open and then all the way together again. The third stretch we're doing here is with the couch stretch. You're gonna need a bench or, or a box or something, and you're just gonna elevate your your the top of your foot on the back of it, and then uh, get the other foot just just down, and then you're gonna push forward, try to extend that hip all the way, as you see Samson doing here. You'll feel it in your your uh, quadricep muscles and also your hip flexors here. Gus has got a pretty good one right there. That's pretty deep. Right after that, you're gonna do two 30-foot band walks here. So notice how as uh, Sam walks laterally, he's, he's in an athletic position, he's kind of squatted down. And then also, he, as he comes, as he brings his feet close together, he's not bringing them all the way together. He's maintaining tension on the band and then stepping out as far as he can uh, against the resistance. So if you let that resistance go, it's a lot easier to push the band out further, but if you keep tension on there, it makes it a lot harder. So you'll go down 30 feet and then back 30 feet, facing the same direction. So whenever he gets down here at the end, he's just gonna stop and then come back, just like that. 